This attempt on Sebastian Coe's world record, the newest world record in the books, set by Coe recently in Zurich at 332.1. Second fastest time, of course, by his time at 332.2. Making sure they're behind the line and Ovid right there on the outside looking for an early pacemaker. And what a scramble is going to be going into that first bend. The Belgians said they would set it up with a quarter mile on the first lap and a half mile on the second lap and then Willy Vulbeck of West Germany would take it over. But whether it'll work out that way is problematical. Over settled in third place, he's out of the trouble and the leader of the moment is Gonzalez of France. Loves to front run, not wearing a French vest. In second place is La Bruyere, who should be the pacemaker on the second lap. Over is third and Volbeck is fourth with Craig Mansback five and Locke is uh, sixth with John Robson locked away in the field somewhere out of sight. Coming round now to complete the end of the first lap. John Robson back in uh, seventh place. The time 55-7, slower than Coe's first lap at 54-3. Still Gonzalez leading. La Bruyere in second place. Over his third. Craig Vansbeck back fifth, just tracking. Billy Bullbeck has got to take it up on the third lap. Lock of uh, Holland's right there. And Robson, a late arrival here, beginning to move through the field. And the lead is gone. Gonzalez has dropped out. So the pace left now with the Bruyere. We expected to take them through to half a mile. Billy Bullback coming over ahead of Ovid. Craig Mansback fourth and Robson wearing seven in fifth place. And these five breaking away from Lock of Holland. Slightly slower than Sebastian Coe's world record. But don't forget that Coe had to make it by himself all the way from six to seven hundred meters. Coming round now to complete two laps. And it's 1.53, and they're inside the schedule for the world record. The next pacemaker is gone, and Volbeck takes it on, and the world record is there for the taking. Billy Volbeck, runner-up to Steve Ovid some years ago in the European Junior Championship, pacing Ovid and Robson in third place. Robson has done uh, 3.52.8 for the mile, and 3.53 behind Ovid on his last weekend. These three away from Craig Mansback. Bullbeck coming to the bow. Ovid second. Robson third. And the time, 2.35 at the bell. Rather similar to Coe's run, so the record is there if they can run about 57, 56 seconds. Still Bullbeck leading. Ovid making no move. Robson tracking Ovid. The German and the two Britain. And Ovid goes away and Bullbeck is dropped out. It's Britain against Britain. Ovet versus Robson. 250 meters left. The world record, three minutes 32.1. And Sebastian Coe here in the Belgian stadium watching. The figures in real danger. Ovet so close to breaking the mile record and now so close to the 1500 meters. The record 332. And Ovet still coming away. Second is Robson. he's going to be very very close and it's so close second place was Robson and third Gonzalez and I do believe he's missed the record by the merest fraction of a second the world record figure on the left is Sebastian Coe's but there over with a great deal of pace making help looks to me as if he's just missed out Ovid looking back in disappointment, but I think that will be rounded up to 332.2 and Ovid bouncing in delight because the clock may not be right. That is an unofficial clock and Ovid clearly thinks he's broken the world record. So, dramatic situation because Ovid there bounced in delight when someone spoke to him. The clock appears to have been right so far all night if it is right that is rounded up to 332.2 the same as Philbert by his old world record if it isn't right 
And judging by Ovid's reaction, he feels he's done something special, which indeed he has by any standard. But whether it's a world record or not is still a mystery. The word's gone round, they're whistling and booing, that it's just outside. And he's passing in front of the seat where Seb Toe is sitting now. Steve over just signalling up to the box with that one finger to us. It was a magnificent run. Voted athlete of the night and deserved it, so Steve Overt, well done. Thank you very much. It wasn't too bad, I don't think. I don't think I deserve man of the night. I think I might have done if I'd have run a little bit faster, but uh, they give it to me anyway, so I'm quite grateful. World records aren't easy to come by, though, are they? No, I don't think any world record is easy to come by, but um, you can't get much closer than I did tonight. I think that's a hundredth of a second, the time it takes to blink. So uh, I'm quite pleased. Did you have a word with home after the race? Yeah, I phoned back and checked in and uh, told my parents that uh, I just missed it by hundreds of a second. They laughed, I think, but uh, I think they're very, very pleased, the same as I am, you know, it's just, um, just one of those things. Did the uh, pacemaking go as you wanted it? It went, it went uh, almost as we planned, but unfortunately when I got started in the race, I was feeling so good, I wish it could have been faster. But that's just one of those things that you, you know, you have to sort of contend with when you go for a good time. In that, is that in that you, you plan for a time, and if you feel better or you feel worse, then you're just left behind or you, you're stuck behind someone. Steve, were these uh, two fast races you've had recently part of your plan right at the start of the season to have two really hard ones, or was it a response to Seb Co? No, I don't think it was. Just that, just I can't actually explain it to be quite honest. Um, my main target this year was to run four races or five races, which I did in six days which is to simulate Olympic competition. And I did that about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And at the end of it, I was, I was talking to my coach and that, and I said that I'm getting stronger and stronger as I race. And they said, well, the only way that, to try it out is to keep racing more, and I'm racing more. And the more I race, the faster I seem to get. At the Palace, I was six tenths of a second outside the world record. Here tonight, I'm, I'm one hundredth of a second outside the world record. Um, I'm going to Gateshead. I don't think there will be a world record attempt there, but I'm going to run in the mile there. And then I'm going to come down to the Palace and probably run in the Coke meet there and give it a go there, see what happens. Well, you're now, now you're running so much faster, you're feeling so much stronger. Is it really hurting you, or you, you, you still think you've got reserves there? Oh, no. I, I find running at a faster pace a lot easier than running at a slower pace. I know it sounds strange, but I'm more relaxed. My body and my sort of structure is more, condu you know, more conducive to running at a faster pace than it is a slower pace. It's more relaxing for me. And how's the rest of the season going to look? Gates said at the weekend, and then what? then probably the coke and then uh, holiday time <laughs> for a couple of weeks anyway somewhere nice and warm well, i think we've missed out the summer in england so i'm going to somewhere nice and warm